Okay, so before we start this video, I just want to make one thing very clear. This video is only for the people who want the ultimate gaming experience, but are also willing to shell out a little extra in order to get that experience. Now, when I say extra, I don't really mean the Ambani kind of wealth you would need to spend on this one. But again, trust me, if you invest in this gadget, you will definitely get judgments from different people, your girlfriend, your parents, everybody, that However, the experience will be out of this world. Since I wanted a truly immersive experience, I thought why not get a home theater set up to test this instead of the studio. So I made my way to the ViewSonic Experience Center in Delhi to experience this gizmo. Luckily, we got a professional studio set up for us with the Xbox Series X, a bowl of my favorite chips and Rocket League loaded up. Alright, I am here at the ViewSonic Experience Center where uh, I thought that uh, in order for me to experience the X2 projector, I need a professional setup. Lucky, I've played it at my home. It was nice, but I wanted to see what it looks like with surround sound audio and a proper panel for me to experience the game. So let's get started. And this is what you would be paying for the ViewSonic X2 4K. Now this is an Xbox certified projector and let me tell you that there aren't many gaming certified projectors out there. The Xbox might not have a mega following in the gaming market but it's one of the pioneers in the gaming division and holds some of the best titles in the ecosystem like the Halo series and also Tomb Raider. This is 4K quality gaming you're getting with 120Hz refresh rate. Most modern games, be it FPS or racing, are clocking 60fps and I think that's fine for casual gaming. We got to experience games like BGMI, a lot of Rocket League and a bit of Asperhold and throughout the experience not once did I feel it would have been better on a regular LED TV. Playing FPS shooters like BJMI are fast paced but the projector was able to keep up with the rapid movements and the down the side shooting. Visually rich racing games would also be good to play on this one. While Asperhalt might not be the best out there in terms of graphics, I'm sure even if you're playing NFS or Formula 1, it would be a visual treat. Now this is an LED projector with a claimed 60,000 hours lifespan which means it will give its best quality for more than 7 years. It might require a little service after that but still, it's a gadget that will last you more than a decade easily. The 4K resolution and 2900 lumens means there's no dearth of quality and it will almost feel like you're playing on an LED panel. Just make sure the screen you're projecting on is of good quality if you want to get most out of this gizmo. This is a shot through projector which means it's good for medium or big sized rooms. The quality would be the best if you're keeping the projector closer to the wall or the slide. Ours was a close to a 10 by 10 room and we were projecting a 70 inch picture on the wall which was more than enough. If you're struggling with the blur in the picture, there is a way for you to adjust that using this knob. The further away it's from the wall, the quality will drop. With more than a billion colors and almost a 120 inch image size, the X2 is even great if you would want to use it for your entertainment purposes. Alright, so while I have with me a professional setup with soundproofing and I'm in a studio experiencing the gaming, uh, you also have uh, inbuilt speakers. There are 6x2 Harman Kardon speakers that you get with the ViewSonic projector. Now, uh, while I recommend that you get a stereo system equipped with the ViewSonic, uh, but the audio in this one isn't that bad. Let's check that out. The audio from the speakers is 33 decibels in normal mode which is okay for a medium sized room but for a truly immersive experience do consider bundling it with a home theater system. For connectivity you have plenty of options here. You have two HDMI, one type C, a 3.5 mm jack and a USB type A for physical ports. You also get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity for audio and streaming. The projector comes with its custom UI with native apps for media and entertainment. 
However, I did not find any of the recognized apps like Hotstar, Geo or Amazon on it. The only available was Netflix. So if you want to use this as your entertainment hub, do buy a third party entertainment solution like the Amazon Fire Stick. The UI is intuitive for customizations and you also get this backlit remote control which makes it convenient to navigate. However, there are also onboard controls for people who like to make life a bit more inconvenient. Just a heads up, I tested the X2 with a PS4 as well and the experience wasn't that different. If you want to level up your gaming experience, it will cost you at least 2.5 to 3 lakh rupees. But then you need to get the X2 and fight it out with all those people who consider something like this as an absurd, exorbitantly priced gadget. Only if you are a true gamer would you want something like this. Okay, so while my experience with the X2 4K has been brilliant, yes, you have to shell out a lot to buy something like this somewhere in the range of between 2.5 to 3 lakh if you're going online but the thing is you get your money's worth it's almost like i'm playing on an led panel it's the clarity the colors the resolution everything is perfect for gamers so if you can put in the money if you want this kind of an experience i definitely would recommend the x2